We would now like to welcome to the stage the Honorary President of the Hong Kong Academy of Finance. Since 2017, he has been responsible with his team, with the entire body of his government, for the main vehicle through which Hong Kong policy is made reality, the budget. The different institutions and government bodies that are responsible for Hong Kong's financial and regulatory environment and even its economic development all fall under his purview. He is the financial secretary of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China. Please welcome Mr. Paul Chan. Laura, Eddie, distinguished guests and speakers, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm so glad to see you all after the, the fruit flow panel discussions of the investment summit yesterday. I hope you all feel recharged and energized. Today's discussion, conversations with global investors, will focus on how investors could position themselves to manage risks and capture future opportunities. It just can't be more timely. While I look forward to panelists sharing of their valuable insights in their respective investment areas, I would like to share how Hong Kong has weathered through the risks and volatilities in our financial markets. To set the scene, let us acknowledge that the global economic outlook and the investment environment are extremely challenging to everyone. Supply chain disruptions have failed to ease following the three-year COVID-19 epidemic. Aggravated by geopolitical tensions, particularly those from Russia-Ukraine conflict this year, inflation in advanced economies has been pushed to levels not seen for decades. Aggressive prolonged tightening of monetary policies by central banks to curb inflation will further dampen global demand and investment. Hong Kong is an IFC, but we are also a small and open economy. We virtually have no natural resources and rely heavily on external trade and investment. Our economy is highly susceptible to external volatility. Turmoil in markets outside is destined to impact on Hong Kong. At a city level, how do we manage financial market risks brought by a well characterized by high uncertainties and volatility. Central to this is our belief that we must deal with security and development together in a well-coordinated co manner. Security and development are two mutually dependent subjects. Financial stability is an integral part of financial secur of security, which is the prerequisite for economic development. Yet economic development provides the best support to security as it strengthens our ability and capability to fend off challenges and risks. That is why over the past three years, we have paid much attention to ensuring our financial stability and security. First, we have established a surveillance system to detect risks in a financial market. Together with financial regulators, we have, we have adopted a cost market coordinated and run the court monitoring mechanism over all sectors of the financial markets. It provides on a rolling basis, regular and in-depth reports, as well as ad hoc reports of the markets to enable us to detect if risks have been building up. Second, we have stringent capital and other requirements of the regulators 
we regulate and we regulate and conduct on-site inspections and stress test them on both regular and ad hoc basis to ensure that they have conducted themselves properly and they are resilient. And reports filed by them are accurate and complete. We will act decisively as and when necessary. Third, we maintain strict discipline and build strong buffers in preparation for turbulences. Take our banks as an example. In Hong Kong, the capital adequacy ratio of banks currently stands at about 20%, which is way higher than the international standard of 8%. Their liquidity ratio is around 155%. Compared to the international standard of 100%, classify loan ratio is just about 1%. Our banking system had excess of 3.3 trillion US dollar as at the end of last year, more than nine times of our GDP. One aspect of financial stability that critics like to talk about during times of volatility is Hong Kong dollar exchange rate under the linked exchange rate system. Over the years, we keep the exchange rate of Hong Kong dollars at US $1 to Hong Kong 7.75 to 7.85. When the strong or weak side of the band is touched, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority will come in to take or give Hong Kong dollars in accordance with the system design. The, the consequential increase or decrease, decrease in the aggregate balance will trigger interest rate adjustment and the market will eventually find its equilibrium. As mentioned above, we have built very strong buffers and resilience in the banking system to support this. And we have been exercising strict discipline to, ke to keep the capital inflow in liquid US dollar denominated instruments so that we can pay them back anytime. It is all the more worth mentioning that our foreign, foreign currency reserves stands at around 430 billion US dollar, equivalent to about 1.7 times of the Hong Kong monetary base. So, if you bet against Hong Kong dollar, you are bound to lose. <laughs> you can verify my advice with certain hedge fund managers in the US <laughs> who has been wrong about Hong Kong dollar time and again. As for securities, Hong Kong stock market is vibrant, active, highly liquid, efficient, and transparent attracting investors from all over the world. We attach, quick, we attach quick importance to investor protection as well. We believe that for a market to succeed in the long term, it must be trusted by both market participants and investors. To achieve this, we set clear rules for our markets stringent requirements on the participants, maintain high transparency of its functioning, ensuring that policies and practices are implemented in a consistent and predictable manner. For they are the cornerstone of international investors' confidence in Hong Kong market, where they can make use for investment and fundraising. The stock market in Hong Kong has been quite volatile recently. There have been calls that the Hong Kong SAR government should do something. For example, about short selling in the market. Let me tell you that on a daily basis, we analyze in depth the performance of our markets. For example, factors causing such volatility its performance vis-a-vis -vis markets in the region and the global markets, 
the short selling volume and the non underlying reasons. Who are the players? Relationship between short selling and short positions. Any concentration risks. We also look at the futures market as well as the derivatives market. We also analyze the information in the trade repository system. Basically, so far, there was no cause for alarm. We also look at the clearing house, licensing corpora licensed corporations and the mutual funds to ensure that they are financially sound and resilient. In short, amid market volatility, we focus on whether the markets are functioning, functioning orderly and properly, and whether there are systematic risks, irregularities, and vulnerabilities that will flatten Hong Kong's financial stability. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope my sharing on our philosophy and approach towards market regulation has facilitated better understanding and inspire more trust in our system and our markets. Hong Kong is an IFC with an internationally aligned regulatory regime. Deep liquidity, quick transparency, and much resilience. With proper safeguards to protect investors, we are simply the best IFC in Asia. You, you are most welcome to do business and make more investments here. I wish you all good health and the best of business in the coming year. Thank you.